Hey, God bless you, my friend and sister Sharon, and today we are discussing the great bait and switch. Friends, we have an epidemic of many people who are calling their sin addictions and disorders. It's the great bait and switch. The enemy through humanism and formula and science wants many people to believe that there is a reason for their sin sickness. See, sin makes you sick, friends. When you are refusing to look towards heaven and you refuse to listen to your conscience, you refuse to let nature speak to you of the goodness, the greatness, the awesomeness of God, you will begin to be a partaker of the lies and the infiltration of the enemy who gets in the heart of the proud, who believe just like they built the Tower of Babel. They believe that they could come up with a way to fix their problems outside of God's rulership and dominion. And this is why masses of people end up self-destructing, killing themselves, killing other people, and taking all types of uh, drugs and other uh, illegal substances to quiet and silence the conscience. Friends, when you have been baited into humanism, when you have been baited into finding any excuse other than to cry out towards the living God, the creator of the heavens and earth, and admit to him, I am a sinful woman. I am a sinful man. Whoever you are, you tell him that. I'm a sinful teenager. I'm a sinful uh, uh, mother, father, whatever, however you want to classify yourself, friend, until you can do your business straight with God. You will be a partaker of the great bait and switch. Everything has been uh, uh, switched to, I need delivered. Yeah, we do. We need delivered from sin, from a, a, a conscience stained by sin. And this is where we proclaim who Jesus Christ is. He is the savior of the entire world. And he preached a message that was clear. Repent, turn from your sin, be saved, be savage, my friend. And when you keep calling your quote addictions your and, and your disorders disorders, what you are doing is removing yourself from taking responsibility. And this is why many people, including churchgoers who do not know Christ, they really do not have the spirit of God at all. They're just going through the motions. This is why many self-destruct. Because what you're dealing with is not a disorder, it's sin. If you are are believing the lie that the reason you keep committing adultery and, and you're uh, in the chains of pornography, whether you are uh, 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 dealing with sexual perversion as a lesbian or a homosexual, if you keep blame shifting, if you keep saying, I'm addicted, I have an, a, a disorder, what you're saying, you're, you're positioning yourself as if you're a victim and you have no participation with your sin. And friends, it is only until we admit to God and uncover the facts, we're sinners. And it is through the shed blood of Christ, we become saints of the Most High God. And until you refuse to be baited into humanism, and until you refuse to blame shift, your addiction, it doesn't matter what you want to call it, is sin. So friends, let us be wise not to call what God calls sin anything but what it is. It is missing the mark with God. Sin is transgression of the laws of God. The law of God is now written on our hearts. And we that love God, we that are sincerely walking this thing out, he, he deals with the conscience. And you can no longer be baited and move to switch out. Semantics and, and words have power. And as long as you hide behind an addiction, 
That's why you can't stop smoking your cigarettes and your weed. That's why some of us, you can't stop your adultery. You can't stop cheating on your spouse. You can't stop lying. You cannot stop doing all these things. You can't stop being mean-spirited. You can't stop being addicted to yourself, which is causing your depression. Because friends, in this kingdom, it is all about others. And as long as your focus is on you and what you do not have and, and why God didn't do what he should have did for you, you are, you are ego tripping. You are edging God out. We are called to be selfless, not selfish. And many of us, we are selfish. And this is why you are in a low place because you refuse to dethrone you. That's right, friends. We are called to love God with our whole heart, mind, soul, and strength and our neighbor as ourselves. But if we get stuck on us and we are stuck on what's wrong and why this happened and why this, friend, before you know it, you are a partaker of the bait and switch because now you have a justified reason why, listen, friends, I need you to hear me today. You have many confessing Christians who are taking social security benefits and disabilities, claiming that you're crazy, claiming that something's wrong with you. No, it's not. You're still sin sick. Oh, yes. We have multitudes of people drawing all types of income claiming they're crazy. No, you're addicted to yourself. You're addicted, friend. You're an enemy. Come on, I got to tell you the truth because today you need to get free, friend. You are addicted to your own thoughts. In your mind, you're an enemy of God. It's in your own mind and the scriptures tell us that that's what we become, enemies, alienated from God because we choose to ponder and think about us all day, every day. It's not about the kingdom. And this is why many will allow themselves to be diagnosed and then draw disability. Now you're stuck with that little paycheck from the government because you have been deceived by the great bait and switch. Nothing's wrong with you, friend, except you need to repent. That's right. Repent of your pride. And, and, and you know it's so because you hide behind humanism. You hide behind philosophy. You hide behind all of these old wives' tales and all of this foolish and foolishness that mortal men have conjured up to pull you into that wide road. It's time to get up, friends, shake yourself, and turn your face towards heaven and repent of your self-aggrandizing and your ego tripping. Because listen, friends, you know it's so because when you ego trip, you edge God out. And that's what masses of people have done because they have been a partaker of the great bait and switch. Everything's an addiction, a disorder. I got this, I got that. No, you got sin. Come on, let's tell the truth and get free today. It's time to be free. God is alive. Jesus lives. He's alive, my friends. He wants you to have a testimony of being an overcomer. Today is the day of salvation. If you will hear his voice and not harden your heart, you shall be given the gift of the Holy Spirit who will speak to you and guide you and teach you and bring you up out of that pit of darkness. But you must denounce this bait and switch. Stop calling your sin a disorder. Stop calling it a, an addiction. Call it what it is, sin. He or she that has the ear to hear. God bless you today. Get away quiet and be honest with yourself. You need to repent, my friend. And repentance is the most blessed thing that God has given every mortal the opportunity to do. It's a blessing. Oh, yes, all day long. It's the love language of heaven. Repent. I love you, my friend. Be healed. Be delivered. Call your sin what it is. Watch and see. Ooh, glory to God. Your life will forever be changed. 
when you come from a, behind the fig leaves of religion and lying, because that's what it comes down to. We, we're lying to ourselves. Amen? Come on, friends. It's time to be free. Till next time, soldier. Let's go.